support Pro Play Games on Patreon. All right, so we're going to be paying off top four. It's going to be Tim versus Kamal. Uh, right now, it's going to be a very, very spicy game as both players are purple. It's pretty interesting overall. So joining me today, uh, joining me for these couple rounds is going to be Camilo. Let me see here. So just updating the names here. All right, so they're going ahead and starting off their games. So Camilo, would you like to say anything while you were in the tournament? Oh snap. So uh, Tim is gonna go ahead and play Gilmon and then he's gonna play Matt. What's up everybody? So uh, Digivolving to Tapirmon is Okay, and then Digivolving to the Devimon. So you actually played against both these decks. Which one do you feel like you had the worst time with? Uh, probably Kamal's. But yeah, he's not playing Master Knight. He's playing... Uh... Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm updating. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just have to... Um... Like the, the Tactimon, he's pretty clutch, but I don't know. It wasn't that scary as like hey man, games. Chaos Galen and uh, Zwart uh, with the Mega Digimon Fusion. It's an insane combo. Okay, so overall. Um Kamal's looking like he has the advantage here just hey, because of the Matt and Yeah, that early tamer is huge. Oh, and he just passes? Oh, Tim's not looking like he saw what he needed. Dude, uh, that was me, man. My opening hand was uh, top A was double Zwart defeat, Valder arm. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, it was a good run. So he did burst it to get the spear back. Um, let's see what goes from here. And then Digivolves to Marimon for one. Not looking like he has a Mega. Overall, just going straight to another ultimate. Making sure, he, probably making sure he, he gets game. He's going to swing at security for seven. And it survives. Kill, hits a Goblin Yeah, so purple overall late game is absolutely amazing. Let's get that out of there. Swinging, dying. So Tim is looking like he's having the issue to go to champion. Um, I kind of saw a couple of ultimates in his hand. But overall, Jam uh, Kamal has the total board control with Tim passing again yo for the green OTK variant today the one that made top top 8 um, four nid hogs that's the spice <laughs> that was insane Goes ahead and attacks security. Hits A to Pyrmon. Lives. Very big for a 6k. Yeah, this is looking a little one-sided. Extremely. Goes ahead and hits security. Does sur not survive. Goes ahead and gets the draw, though. He's going to be reading his baby.
chat if you guys have any questions you can always just ask camilo as he was going through his games if he had any uh mindsets or thought process uh for going into this regionals uh he did place fifth place and then when they played top cut he did get bumped out but this man is a nut i promise you <laughs> yeah it just breaked unfortunately but it is part of the game oh hard place tacked him on oh <sighs> and unfortunately after that you already know how purple will destroy anything in its sights. Yeah, especially with the mat and tie. If he gets the war, double check and then just swing. And just restand. Yeah, no, this is. All right. Opting to go over the Tapirmon over the Giyomon. <coughs> I've never seen such efficient uh, purple players before. Their decks feel faster overall than the Lilith loop. Um, and they've actually bricked a lot less. Yeah, Lilith Loop for sure is is in, insane if you can pull it off, but you need you need a few turns of, of setup. Whereas in this type of format with Rookie Rush and all these Rush decks, Green OTK, it might it take just too many turns to to get going. So I see definitely a more aggressive purple variants are a little more successful at least for right now with the way the meta is going. Yeah, with the Wearguru mods. Yeah. The People are, I haven't even seen, I don't think Kamal even plays Lady Debbie. Nah. Uh, he plays the, the Cheap Evos and then the uh, Digiburst guy. The where the black... Uh, Growl? Yeah, yeah. So he's going to swing at security, just not using the effect of the uh, pop one to pop one on board. Yeah, it doesn't... He did not want to give uh, Tim the memory for killing the Guillaume. He's going to attack, gain a memory... And then attack for game. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, did not see a single champion. Yep. That's the thing about the Digis, man. It's a, a lot of games are pretty much determined by somebody bricked and the other person drew their lines. So just going ahead and adding in D. Information. All right, there we go. So, um... Overall, Tim has been doing really good through this uh, tournament. He is from Nowhere Toys and Comics. And then uh, Jamal, uh, Kamal was a originally a Yu-Gi-Oh! player. Uh, very successful, actually. Went to Worlds, as I've been told. The uh, overall matchup is pretty interesting, uh, considering that Purple is this whoever draws the best uh, and whoever has the counter. So Tim will be starting off the game uh, hatching a Demi Marimon, digivolving into Giyomon. The cool thing about Tim's list, it's a very aggressive, uh, it's almost like a purple OTK kind of deck. So if, if he can draw hot enough early, he might be able to, to just steamroll. But again, with these kind of OTK decks, they're a little less consistent, but definitely higher like power. Just have to draw the right pieces. Let's see if Tim can... Especially with the plus one with the crest. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, nobody bro. nobody thinks about the structure deck uh, crest. That's what I'm saying. Is that He plays more of like a purple OTK, and especially you digiburst or whatever, and you have the guy under that can restand. So you digiburst summon a baby, then you pop it with the inheritable to restand, then you just check a bunch of security. Okay, so he's... Oh, oh come on, actually plays a... This is the name of the game right here. We got one player <laughs> that drew their line and one player that bricked. And now let's see if they can take advantage of this. This turn right here with all this memory. Is that six memory? Or is he at five? He's at six. Oh, so that isn't... What? Oh, he's at no, five. no, it was five. If it was six, it would have been a big turn. All right. Still pretty good. So two champions on Tim's board, one champion on Kamal's board. Kamal's not looking like he's drawing what he needs. 
Uh, again, is this his first turn? Let's see if he... No, but the the guy that um, Kamal summoned um, with that retaliation, he can pretty much like one for one whatever Tim summons if he decides to swing over. So Tim kind of is pressured into deleting this... Uh, I forget the name of that guy. Demi... Uh, Devimon. Devimon. Because that... That uh, retaliation can just punish the, the mega play. Oh, goes ahead and plays a Death Claw to give one of his Digimon 3,000. Just, just to, to put him at one. Whoa. It's probably the best option. Oh, he finally draws his rookie. And Digivolves for one. Okay, now we got a game. And Digivolves for three. Not even wasting his Devimon in the front uh, front lines, which already has so much pressure. Yeah, because it pressures Tim into thinking like, man, if I don't... If I don't deal with this and I swing, I'm just gonna lose my body and all the the stack. He put four four cards in one stack and he's trading four cards for one card. Pretty pretty plus. Extremely. Uh, the only issue I see with the Devimon is that the trade for um, the trade has to be perfect. There's so many things that say on deleted, on deletion. Oh, adds a mega De Digimon fusion to hand. At least his champion survived. But can Tim... I'm pretty sure Tim does not have an ultimate because he's contemplating just attacking. He's going to attack for two oh. and hit the mats, putting his opponent at three. Yo. I don't know how I feel about those swings there. It would have been maybe fine to leave the blocker, but like uh, unsuspended. But maybe his hand was just had no other play. I would have probably just passed then, put him to three since he was going to go to three anyway. And now now it's a big turn for, for Kamal here. Especially now that he can do the uh, Guillemot. Yeah, he has, he has almost, he has full combo right here almost. No, he doesn't have the Guillemot. Does he, he ran tag team on as well, right? Kamal, I'm, mm, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, yeah, he did. There it is. And now this is when the game becomes mo even more difficult for Tim as he yeah. can swing over everything on board. At least it saves him a turn, though. Yeah, but no, he's going to have, like, no board presence. The guy in the back for sure, but if Kamal puts him at, any like, one memory or two memory, he's going to have a hard time. The Kamal game? Oh, yeah, he did. All right, there it goes. <coughs> So again, like Tim drew all his Kreskarurumons. Yeah. But hey, top four is is really really good for this kind of original type of deck. Extremely. But we'll see. It's not over yet. Maybe you know some cheeky Jack raids if he plays to gain some memory to extend the play, so it, he can get out his Omega. Oh, he's confident enough to raise out his uh. Does Ramon? That's a Guillemon? And doesn't that's the Digiburst guy or no? That's the, a level four, right? The yeah, Gu yeah. The Guillemon is the No, the the one that he promoted. Oh yeah, that's um something it gets I think you get a draw when one of your other Digimon get deleted. If I am not right. Okay, Kamal is thinking here. Uh, very tough choice because uh, any decision might uh, shift over the momentum a little bit. As he swings with Tactamon, gains a memory. Hits a Raumon. 100% safe. And now here comes the Gallantmon. Kills his Tactimon. And kills a Gramon. Yep. Tim does draw one, discard one, but I don't think it'll help in this situation as he goes for it again. Unless this check is oh, oh, plays a rookie. A rookie or level four? I think. No rookie. Let's see if this check is big. No hit.
right. Contemplating how much memory he wants to give his opponent. Uh, probably thinking about the Zwart, if the Zwart would be a good choice at the moment. Zwart will threaten lethal if he does summon it. Because all those bodies, only two security left. I'm pretty sure uh, Tim does not run the Mega Digimon Fusion, though. Yeah, I don't think he plays any white uh, cards. He plays the Zwart, which actually might do something, but... Uh, defeat. Mm. Alright, just decides to go on his light play. Probably the best decision. As yeah, it's still, it's still lethal. Purple um, benefits way too much off having stuff on the board. If maybe if we get to Devimon, he could swing into something, but it's looking like a downhill from here. All right, did you bounce for two? He's at one, and doesn't look like he has any answers. Oh, got a blocker. Right, his hand is actually looking a little bit better. It's also depending on his security of how how good he comes back. All right, let's see. Let's see a nice security check, a nice zwart. Uh, not a defeat though, so he could get rid of the body on the first check. Unless actually, Kamal could just play a rookie here and attack twice. Oh, the rookie lives, bro. Oh, yeah. uh, that's damn. That's too much value right there. Yep. And oh, oh, and it was the defeat. No. He would have had a chance to come back if it was <laughs> it did not live. But he could have hard yeah. played something and popped it too. It, it could have been the same thing. Tim also runs the Darkness Claws, which could have passed it over to his turn. Yeah, there was there was outs. There was a lot of outs. I, I, he just didn't see any. Um, <coughs> Kamal also plays very, very well. Um, t uh, took advantage of the fact that Tim bricked and... Went straight Tim it. didn't really break in the second game, though. If anything, Kamal kind of had a slower start, but was able to stabilize. That uh, Devimon really threatened uh, the board a lot, and it made Tim not really want to play how he wanted to. And then once that he saw that first rookie, uh, once Kamal saw that first rookie, he was able to go all the way up and just take control of the game from there. Yep, and that is just the name of the game.